Hey guys, this is Lewis from Mobile Web. Hey guys, this is Lewis from Mobile Web Web Dev here. What ha what do you do if your back end editor or your front end editor is not working? So say if it just just stop working all of a sudden, you click edit split line heading, and um, you change something. You click save changes on the back end or front end, and it doesn't work, right? So what what do you do? Um, and a lot of the times, I would say 99% of the time, it's a conflicting plugin. Um, so I'm going to take you through that process real quick. This is a test site, so there's not many. Um, but let's just imagine that there's a ton, right? And then what you do is you click on these and then just do not click on the core or any of these. In rare cases, you may need to, but you usually do not have to deactivate your core. You don't really want to um, for this um, uh, for this troubleshooting method. Just click deactivate, apply, and then check that. Go back and go back to your uh, page and 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 look it over and 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 see if when you edit something and you click save that it's working right um, that is one that that is the main method usually now if if you have a ton of plugins and you're like god but if I deactivate this and I just I'm worried it's gonna do something or I'm worried that so like if it's WP rocket or if it's an X if it's super crucial plugin and it's not a core plugin but you're like I really don't want to do that then that's why a lot of people procrastinate and they don't do it because of that. So what I would recommend is just one, you can try not doing it and then just trying to do all the others that you feel like wouldn't cause too much havoc. And then, um, and then you can do that. Uh, then, uh, but if it's still not working, then it may be that plugin. Now, an important thing is make sure you back up your before you do any of this okay um make sure you back up any anything at our your entire site whether it's an installatron cpanel whatever back it up before you do this so that you can restore it instantly in case something crashes or goes wrong okay so uh i hope that helps let me know in the comment section below uh if uh, you have any questions about it um and uh yeah, and uh, please sub and uh, look forward to talking to you soon.